Here we have some word problems that have to do with parallel lines. So what you've learned in studying transversals is probably going to apply here. And the one thing I would say about these types of problems is that you have to draw a picture, otherwise you're going to be lost. So let's see if we can do that with this first one. It says a two-rut road runs due east and west. Okay, so here's a road, there's one of the ruts, there's the other rut. So we've got a couple of parallel lines to start with. A road runner heading, so that's a bird, heading in a roughly northwesterly direction, so that would be that way, uh, runs across the ruts in a straight path. So I'll just put that in. So we've got our typical transversal kind of situation here. The road runner's path and the eastern side of the first rut make an angle of 39 degrees. Now here I'm just going to make a little compass uh, rows just to keep myself on the straight and narrow. Okay, so north, east, south, and west, there we go. So on the eastern side, it says, um, of the first rut. So if he's coming up this way, the eastern side of the first rut would be right here. So this would be 39 degrees. And then it says, what is the measure of the angle made by the roadrunner's path and the northern and western side of the second rut? So northwestern side is going to be over here, second rut. So it would be that one right there. And what you should recognize from this transversal situation is that these are alternate exterior angles and they're going to be the same. So the answer for this one would just be 39 degrees. No calculations to do there at all. All right, let's look at one more. This one says two ships are beginning to travel across an ocean. Home away from home is several kilometers south of waves of steel. Hmm. So let's, let's put the ships on here. So here's waves of steel and home away from home is south of there. Okay, so here's home away from home. Next it says, home away from home, so this guy will be traveling in the direction 51 degrees west of north. And that's maybe something you haven't heard of before, west of north. So let me just go ahead and draw a compass in again. So there's north, east, south, and west. And when they say, whoops, let me get that on the screen. When they say 51 degrees west of north, you start at north and you go towards the west 51 degrees. Okay, so something like that. And this angle in here is 51 degrees. And then it says waves of steel will be traveling in the direction of 39 degrees north of west. So you start at west and you go 39 degrees up that way. So the question is, um, where do I put that on this diagram, 39 degrees? Well, what we need to remember is that this is a right angle here. So there's 90 degrees total in there. So the first question I would ask is, what's 90 minus 51? And the answer to that is 39, which is kind of convenient because 39 degrees west of north would put it exactly at the same angle. So these two ships are both traveling at the same angle. So saying 51 degrees west of north is the same thing as saying 39 degrees north of west. Now the question here is, if they continue to travel in their present directions, Will the paths of the ships ever cross? The answer is no. And to explain why, it's because they're traveling uh, on parallel courses here. They're traveling in exactly the same direction. So the paths will never cross. So that's a little bit of word problems with uh, parallel lines.